We're you know, opening our doors back to the community for the first time uh, since 2019, actually. So we're going to have, hopefully, a lot of people in here. We're going to have our nine amazing youth speakers. They've been working at this since, I think, December. Um, so they're going to be sharing their ideas on so many different topics. We've got someone talking about healthcare, about mental health, about AI, which I'm really excited about. And hopefully, we're going to leave our community members inspired and you know, ready to take on the world. We had to run online last year, as many people had to do with COVID. And I think the, the stories and the, the way they're told are so much more personal when you're in person and you have that kind of physical connection there. And I think when you're in person, it just makes it so much easier to you know, speak to your audience because you can see them right there. And it just makes it easier to kind of convey your message. We have so much to share and we've seen within our students that in speech competitions and even in classes the debates are so lively and there's so many ideas that I know that our older students thought okay you know it's time to get these on a professional stage it's time to get these messages out there um, and from there we were like why not you know expand it to Halton so having all these speakers come in from different schools I think it also ties our community together really well um, in terms of you know you get to meet from people from different schools and you get to meet people from the community and there's just so many opportunities um, to grow and to learn from other people so I think having this space especially centered around youth um, it's really just an amazing opportunity for our youth to get celebrated for all the potential that they have. On May 10th uh, we'll be opening doors at 9 a.m. and we'll be going to about 3.45 uh, in the afternoon and um, we'll be having uh, a lunch in between for those that want to stay for the first session and we'll have speakers in between and we might have some bands play so we can really have not just speaking but we can have a kind of a full event for everyone that's taking place. If you're looking to buy tickets you can go to our Instagram at TEDxYouth at Abbey Park HS. Uh, we'll have a link there to our cash where you can buy either uh, morning, uh, afternoon or full day tickets for those interested.